Hey, what's up collectors? I've got a special surprise for you today. I just got a package in the mail from my boys down at Goodwill. What? Goodwill. Um, yeah, actually, uh, let me get them right here. Very fragile. As you can tell, they wrote it a bunch of times. But inside, ooh, I've got a bunch of goodies for you. Uh, this is just a collector's edition of uh, today's episode because I've added some new games to my Super Nintendo collection. I'm super stoked to unbox it for you and see what we've got. This is going to be super cool. I'm super stoked for some of these games that I got. And I might even have gotten a couple of goodies in here, so we'll have to see. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of packing peanuts. What am I, an elephant? Oh my goodness. I'm going to make a complete mess of everything. Oh, well. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Well, thank you, Goodwill, for at least packaging this, like, super well. I mean, look at all of this bubble wrap, all of these packing peanuts. This is pretty awesome. Obviously, I spent a good amount of money on this, and it's cool to see that they really cared about my purchase. So let's get into some of these goodies. I'm going to have to clean all this up. I hate it. All right. So first off, oh, this is a good one. The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Uh, thank you, Josh A., for your donation here. Uh, this game, I actually have beat. Um, I just, I have never played it on the Super Nintendo. I actually beat this game on my DS. Um, I played the Game Boy Advanced version. Um, I spent um, a couple of days on uh, the bus beating this game. Uh, very fond of it. was super awesome. I, I think the Game Boy Advanced version was probably a little bit more updated with the sprites. I, I mean, that's what I'm going to assume. Um, so, super stoked for this game. That's a, a sweet addition to the collection. I can't believe I've never had it. Um, but, um, I was never into RPGs as a kid. Um, surprising. Um, it's just more of a platformer, fighting, uh, game guy. Uh, so, Link to the Past didn't really, you know, it was The Legend of Zelda. I know it might be very controversial, but I just, it wasn't my cup of tea. It wasn't until I grew up a little bit and really enjoyed, uh, The Legend of Zelda series, um, and I'm still playing them to this day, especially Breath of the Wild, one of the best games ever. Next game up, this is a very strange game, um, <laughs> Eye of the Beholder, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, um, I'm a D&D player, um, I play with my improv friends, uh, I had to look up this game because I've not ever heard of it, um, and it kind of looks pretty garbage, not going to lie. Um, but it's got a little bit of, um, I would say, like, humility to it. You know, it, it might look a little bit trashy, but, um, you know, I like the fact that you could create your own characters, you form your own party. Um, from what I saw, I might have to use my Super Nintendo mouse uh, to play it. So... Uh, Cool addition to uh, the collection, especially since I'm a D&D &D fan. I don't know if I'm going to get to that game uh, quickly, but we'll see. Um, up next, oh, uh, nice, SimCity. Um, I had SimCity, I believe, 3,000? It was either 2,000 or 3,000 on my Acer computer back in the day. Um, fifth grade. Jeez, I played that game. That was the last time I played SimCity. Um, I had trouble building bridges. I, I vividly remember asking my science teacher, Hey, how do you build a bridge in SimCity? And he's like, what does this have to do with science? I don't know. Shut the hell up, kid. Um, <laughs> so, uh, SimCity, uh, a big fan of, uh, the series. Uh, Sim Ant was also another game that I played on the PC. 
a lot of fun. Um, looking forward to building some cities, see if uh, the gameplay keeps up or has kept up. Um, I'm going to save that one for a little bit later because that one is a really cool one. Uh, next up, we've got Equinox. So this is another game that I had never heard of. It is an action um, puzzles puzzle solver, puzzle action, puzzle solving uh, game, um, top down, kind of isometric, really uh, interesting, um, I'm a big fan of puzzle games, um, so I am i don't really have too much to say about Equinox, um, other than it, it looks, uh, it's got a very cool art style on that, um, I'm excited to play it. Um, especially because I, like I said, I, I'd never heard of it before uh, this purchase. So looking forward to uh, playing that. Next up, ooh, this is one that I'm super stoked about. Uh, we've got X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. A uh, very sweet game. Um, I've actually played the, I guess it might be the sequel um, on the Game Boy Advance. It's I think it's called uh, Dawn of the Apocalypse or... Uh, something, something apocalypse, basically. It was for the Game Boy Advance. It was hard as crap. Oh my goodness. Um, but it's got that whole, it, it kind of keeps up with the whole style of Mutant Apocalypse, where you've got five different missions with five different uh, mutants. Um, in the Game Boy Advance version, that they knock it down to four. Um, but I'm a big fan of Beast, big fan of my boy Wolverine, um, I think you could also play a Psylocke in this one, which is really cool. Um, so I'm looking forward to beating that. X-Men, uh, one of my all-time favorite arcade game cabinets, you know, for playing. I had two younger brothers that we used to rock all the time. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to getting a little bit of nostalgia with that. Um, as long as, and also, you know, play some uh, Super Nintendo X-Men games. Definitely cool. Definitely um, a sweet pickup that I'm excited about. Um, and to go with my uh, Sim City, I also got Sim Earth, a uh, very uh, similar game to that whole simulation um, population building um, genre. Uh, well, in this case, instead of just controlling one city or you know expanding your city expanding that you're actually in control of a planet and although there's not like uh at least with the main game i think there's not too many like absolute win conditions um the idea is that you evolve the species on the planet to help them gain sentience and then um depending on what mode you're doing either battle um, a wave of self-replicating robots or, you know, maybe launch them into the sun or something like that. Uh, I looked up this game very ACI, you know, uh, AC um, graphics. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to building some, uh, you know, X-Men, you know, some mutants. And hopefully um, I could have some weird animals rolling through my planet. Looking forward to that. Uh, next up, we've got our Bass Masters Classic Pro Edition. Now, I never had um, any of the fishing Super Nintendo games as a kid, but I remember going over to uh, some of my uh, sports teammates' houses, and um, I guess it was really big with their parents. I played like Super Black Bass. Um, in some of those other like fishing championship games, um, which I found pretty enjoyable. Um, looking forward to uh, catching me some largemouth bass, uh, hooking them with my my worm. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I, I can imagine playing uh, some Bassmasters Classic for you know 20, 30 minutes and having some fun. Uh, next up, we've got Super Star Wars. Return of the Jedi. Um, this game, I I believe I've only played a couple minutes of. Um, I've played uh, the Super Star Wars uh, games uh, a couple of times, um, and I, I don't believe uh, I've gotten too far with any of them. So looking forward 
to uh, playing this. You've got, you know, your Luke Skywalker Han Solo right there on the front. Um, classically are considerably uh, difficult, these games. So, um, might have to throw that up on that new Super Nintendo series games. Super Nintendo games that I couldn't beat as a kid. So, we'll see how that goes. Super stoked to add that. That just means I'm going to have to get the rest of the Super Star Wars um, uh, video games to add to the collection. And then hopefully say I could, I've could i beaten all three. Oh, these are... Oh my goodness. These are all... Super, am I getting towards the end already? Oh my goodness. Okay, so... Um, I've got... I've probably got like six more. Uh, but I'm getting to the good stuff. Uh, next up, we've got The Lost Vikings. Uh, very cool game. Um, was actually developed by uh, the company that eventually became Blizzard Entertainment. Um, my, my favorite game of all time is Warcraft 3. Um, Reign of Chaos, the, the Frozen Throne. You can't beat it. I've spent so many hours playing those games. Um, and I've even played like rock and roll racing and some of the other stuff, but I've never played uh, the Lost Vikings. So uh, super cool to add that to my collection. This is a little bit more of like another puzzle style game, but you're controlling uh, three Vikings and you can only control one at a time and you have to have all three of them escape the level. So uh, very cool to add this to my collection, not to uh, Blizzard. Um, having that in my collection with all of my uh, Warcraft 3 love. So really happy that I've added that to my collection. I'm, I'm looking for... Oh, here it is. Okay, before we get into the big guns... <laughs> uh, I just opened this. Obviously got the sticker still on it. Super Game Boy. I've actually never owned a Super Game Boy um, ever, which is kind of crazy. Um, I've been over... Um, I used to go over to my friend's house, Matt, and we'd just play Pokemon Red and Blue on his Super Game Boy. And it's like, why Why do I need a Super Game Boy when I've got my regular Game Boy and I can just go over to Matt's house and play it? Um, I still have uh, some old Game Boy games in my collection, 007. I've got uh, Metal, Gear, Metal Gear Solid. I still think I have the old Donkey Kong Country with the yellow cartridge. Um, obviously, all of the old Pokemon games, Crystal, Gold, uh, Red, uh, Yellow. Um, so it's going to be cool to kind of crack this open and uh, revisit some of my old Game Boy games on the Super Nintendo. Really cool to, uh, really happy that I've added that to my collection finally. And now let's get into some of the better games. Now, uh, oh no, this is kind of blunt. But um, next up, we've got Ease. I'm um, hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think a lot of people mispronounce it with Wise, but I think it's Ease. Uh, this is the third edition, Wanderers from Ease 3. A uh, little bit dirty, but I, I don't really care. Um, I've looked up the gameplay, um, kind of action RPG, side-scroller. Um, graphics, nothing really to write home about, um, but I think it's a relatively quicker story game, um, and it's got a little bit of like your favorite RPG elements in that with your inventories and uh, the different uh, weapons that you can collect. So that's very cool. Uh, you know, I'll probably get to it. I'm gonna maybe clean it up a little bit first, but um, we'll see that. Uh, next up, Oh, goodness. Lufia 2. Oh, my goodness. Rise of the... Oh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Sinistrals. Rise of the Sinistrals. Um, obviously considered to be one of the, the best RPGs um, on the console, Super Nintendo. I mean, you've got your Earthbounds. You've got your Chrono Triggers, Lufia 2 Secret of Mana. You've got so many of those. Lufia 2 definitely up there in the top five, I would say. Um, I've never uh, beaten this game. So, uh, obviously, um, you know, it's super freaking long. Crazy long. 
Um, it would probably take me a whole day of playing it 24 hours straight just to beat it. Um, but a lot of depth. Um, like I said, I wasn't really an RPG guy as a kid, so we'll, um, we'll, we're trying to revisit a lot of these RPGs that I, I didn't really experience. I had uh, rented a Super Mario RPG as a kid and from Blockbuster, and I could not figure it out. And that was the death of RPGs for me. So I have not even beaten Super Mario uh, RPG. Seven stars. That's crazy. Uh, next up, Final Fantasy three. That's a sick one. Oh my god, super cool. Um, actually, I believe this is like Final Fantasy six or something. I'm, I I um, apologize ahead of time. Well, I, can't, I guess I can't now um, <laughs> for not absolutely knowing. But I know um, Final Fantasy two, Final Fantasy three um, were actually miss. Uh, miss branded, miss um, well, miss episoded, really. Um, when they got ported over to the United States, so I believe this might be seven or uh, five or something like that. Um, I've never beaten a Final Fantasy game outside of Final Fantasy Tactics, so uh, this is another RPG I got to add to uh, the collection so that I can finally. Um, enjoy some great Super Nintendo um, RPGs. And then finally, the big reveal. Oh my goodness. This is super cool. I'm super stoked about this. Ogre Battle on the Super Nintendo. Uh, the March of the Black Queen. I absolutely adored Tactics Ogre. Um, Ogre Tactics um, on the PlayStation. Um, I love, like I had just mentioned, Final Fantasy Tactics games. Um, definitely more my style when it comes to RPG. Um, and I've got the coveted Ogre uh, a game for the Super Nintendo. Uh, the Ogre series game. Super stoked for this. March of the Black Queen. So many different um, endings. Uh, customize your character and your armies. Um, a little bit of grind. I'm all for it. Uh, super stoked to play that. Um, so I think in total I got 14 games. Yeah, that's 12, 14, and uh, oh, actually 13, and the Super Game Boy as well. Um, super stoked for these three. Uh, finally get some RPG games into the collection. Um, but I think the one that. Um, Secretly, I'm super stoked for it, is um, the Lost Vikings with the Blizzard uh, and, uh, Activision yeah. uh, connection. So um, I've got a bunch of new games to Super Nintendo to add to the Super Nintendo collection. I've started a new series, um, just going through my existing collection, beating the games that you know I never could as a kid. I finished up Pilot Wings. Um, took me a couple hours to beat that final Secret Command 2. Um, if you want to see me play one of these games on stream, um, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the collection. Obviously, we've got a little bit of cleaning up to do with some of them, um, just to make sure that they remain in a more pristine condition. But I'm super stoked to um, add all these games to my collection. Um, I think I'm going to uh, bust out one or two of these on stream and see uh, how it runs. Um, and then um, get back to beating those Super Nintendo games that I couldn't. So um, if you uh, want to see more, you want to see me actually live battling these old games, um, give us a follow on twitch.tv or collect n reflect um we don't have a set schedule but typically on the weekends we're we're challenging the games we're beating them um and if not you can also uh follow us on uh instagram and twitter uh sometimes we make a couple of updates there about some of our new posts um so give us a follow there as well um and i guess that's it for me 
Uh, like I said, if you would like to see me play any of these games, um, comment below. Um, I don't really have an order set yet, so I'd love to, um, you know, make some, some people's day um, beating some of these games that uh, were requested. Um, so that's it for me. Bucky's out. Um, and until next time, peace.